up fellow Sambarians? Ah, uh, so, ah, uh, man, I don't know why I can't start these out ever talking like a normal human. Um, if you have uh, been following along on the Instagrams and the Facebooks and um, the YouTubes, you have probably seen us kind of messing around with exhaust systems on the sandbars. So uh, those are all either supercharged or fuel injected. This girl here is not neither of those. This is carbureted. So carbureted sandbars are a little trickier when doing exhaust. Uh, you lose back pressure and I, uh, you know, you lose back pressure, you lose power. So we're going to try to do some testing on some exhaust that we are making for the carbureted sandbars. Uh, that's, you know, a matter of running baffles and just creating some um, back pressure inside the system. So the carburetor runs a little better. Um, I am regurgitating information that I have read and seen. Um, so don't, don't quote me, I'm not that smart, but um, if you run fuel th too quick, I mean, run exhaust out of these things too quickly, uh, you're most likely going to need to rejet the jets in the carburetor so you get the power to match the exhaust leaving as fast as it is and blah, blah, blah. So essentially you're losing, uh, I don't know, top end speed or something. I have not uh, tested it yet. Um, so that is what we're going to be doing today. Um, I have this exhaust. Now, I'm not really gonna show you how to remove the entire exhaust system. Um, I have another video showing how to remove the entire exhaust system and I actually installed this exhaust. Um, but again, if you've been following along, you have seen uh, Goober Chan, my green van, just got some sick squid, squid pipe and it's shooting flames and <laughs> it's freaking bad. So if you wanna see a sandbar getting rowdy, um, you can check out uh, the Instagram or the Facebook. Uh, it, it would be the latest, the latest stuff. And a supercharge that my buddy, um, Special K's, Scott Fusco, we've been working on his sandbar, that supercharged exhaust, blah, blah, blah. We're uh, testing the exhaust on the, uh, kind of see him right there, on the sandbar. We just did another exhaust for the green van. Um, he's gonna do a drive-by so we can see what it sounds like from the outside of the car. And you can hear this coming down the hill. Here it comes. So again, we knew they were going to work because they're EFI and the computer and everything is going to adjust accordingly. Um, but obviously carbureted uh, sandbars aren't that smart and, you know, these exhausts were designed to run with the current setup. So we're just going to, I'm just going to test this and if it does work out great, we'll work on some custom exhausts. But I think the exhausts that we are going to make are going to require running um, no, no engine cover back here. Uh, uh, one, a lot of heat builds up in the back. So having no cover back there allows the heat to escape better. Um, 
not everybody is going to want to run bumperless and coverless, and that's totally fine. Um, I choose to run bumperless on the van because A, it looks sicker, and B, the exhaust doesn't fit with the lid closed on it, the bumper closed up. But there is a guy who is making these already that do fit your sandbars with the engine covers. Um, I'll put a link to him and everything down below and he's already got them made and stuff like that so um we're kind of just in the making testing process phase um, i'm not trying to battle anybody with making exhaust for these sandbars it's just you know we want to build our own custom exhausts so certainly ours isn't going to be better than anybody else's um we're just mainly doing it for sound and looks these are not for performance by no means um so i'm not going to make any claims that they make your sandbar faster, but they are gonna make it sound better. But again, um, custom ATX or ATX Customs, um, Greg, super smart guy, uh, he's got his little exhaust setups systems that he's selling for the sandbars that are resonated and they're probably, they're probably a lot quieter than the ones we're making. Again, we're doing ours a little different. There's nothing wrong with his. His are just probably gonna be more uh, more user friendly for everybody so you can check him out i'll have his website again down there and you can hit him up if you want an exhaust that he's got to run with a cover mine can't really run covers with so we're gonna install this guy um and i'm sure you all know what the sandbar sound like they're really really quiet so i'm gonna go ahead and just kind of take everything off of the the back here bolt this guy up and we're gonna see uh what what kind of feel we get and see what happens. All right. shields man there's a lot of heat shields have been removed uh, the heat shield on the manifold came off real real nice only one bolt broke in there so that's okay if you're um, familiar with these the stock manifold bolts on the heat shield uh, they suck get ready for a battle um, thank goodness this this truck here only has about 10,000 kilometers on it so everything's in pretty good shape um, all the manifold bolts still had a shape to them because they usually uh, rust and round out but they all came out except for one like I said it broke so I've got all the heat shields off everything disconnected so let's get this stock exhaust out of here <clears throat> the same way as a ton just uh be careful when you're pulling this off you're gonna have your thermo sensor or whatever uh in here i didn't want to try to remove it because it's super uh rusty but this thing weighs like a good i don't know 30 30 pounds maybe goodness gracious okay so our stock our stock gasket is uh it's okay we're gonna have to use it and here is our 10 five pounds of exhaust that is gonna go right here much much lighter and hopefully it sounds way better <laughs> so i'm gonna get it all hooked up and then we'll fire her up okay i got it bolted up um got the hanger on 
I uh, used the stock, um, the stock gasket. Um, again, I already made a video for this exhaust on the green van showing how to take everything off. Uh, the carburetor is slightly different. Um, there's a heating chamber. Oh gosh. There's a warming chamber on the top. So you do have to disconnect those two hoses inside. You can see them right there and I'm gonna re reconnect them into each other. Um, most of those, most of the time, uh, there's sometimes, there's sometimes an exhaust leak, uh, that forms on the top of that it man, uh, muffler with the warming chamber, since it is tack welded on there, rust through, um, you start getting fumes and then your truck starts basically breathing its own exhaust. So it starts running crummy. So you may want to check that anyways, um, just to bypass that because if it's sucking in its own fumes, it's losing power. Um, but yeah, let's give this thing a start and see how she sounds. All right, let's go uh, fire her up, see how she sounds. beautiful machine here so I just took her for a good loop around uh, my area and um, my report of findings on running a custom exhaust on your carbureted sandbar uh, for me had absolutely no effect uh, if anything it felt like it opened it up a little bit more um, again I'm not saying anybody's wrong in prior conversations about carbureted sandbars with custom exhaust, but uh, I did not have an issue with this particular design where it's just a muff a pipe to a Suzuki muffler, which I think it was a Suzuki muffler off a motorcycle with just a little turn. Um, I bought this in Japan off of Yahoo Auctions. Um, but can easily be made in the States. It's just a muffler with some tubing. Uh, so I am, I am extremely happy that that ended up working out. Um, again, I, it, it, it sounds really good and it feels really good. Um, I don't feel like I lost any power. So if I didn't gain anything, I don't think I lost anything. And that was all off of, you know, a butt dyno, just me sitting in there driving it. Um, certainly put it on a dyno, don't know what you're going to come up with, but I really don't care again. If you notice all my videos and what my mentality is, as long as it looks good and sounds cool, uh, I'm pretty happy with it. So, uh, I am going to collect up all my old exhaust and put it in the, the shed and save it. Um, and I'm going to continue running this muffler on this truck, just because this truck is lowered and it's got 15 inch wheels and it's just got that sick little low vibe and everything and the stock exhaust was just boring and didn't add any flair to the truck um, but this certainly does so I'll do a red hat on this truck and um, really tune up the engine bay in here because you're gonna I'm gonna be running naked here and so you'll be able to see it so I think what we're gonna end up doing at special case is we're gonna build some of those curly Q exhausts I'll probably do something for this thing and then um, once we are confident with what we're gonna produce, um, then we can um, sell them to people who are not going to run covers. I don't think we're going to build them for engine covers. Patitos, hey. So again, 
for the guys who want to run naked, which makes your truck run a lot cooler, um, I think we're going to just kind of stick to that style exhaust. But yeah, I'm so stoked. Stoked on the green van, Goober Chan with that exhaust. Stoked on this K Chan with this little exhaust working out. Uh, we'll do something later, of course. But um, again, if you want to see how to remove your exhaust, um, I have another video. Um, go through my videos and you'll find the one removing the exhaust. And uh, this one was just basically a test to see what we were going to come up with putting a custom exhaust on the carbureted sandbar. And Okay, bueno. All right, cool. Take it easy, guys. See you on the next one.